that out, mark some more timber. But uh really quick thing, you know, we got Forest Road right here. Uh first day I was out here, this old school, you know, stone culvert. Whoa! Uh okay. Oh, foot still dry. First five minutes of the day, whatever. Okay, so we got a stone culvert. Water runs through that, so the road stays nice and dry. It's all clogged up, went in there with a rake, cleaned it out. You can see those dark spots in that swamp, that's where, uh, that wetland, that's where all there was standing water. I was actually coming over the road here. So, you know, it was really backed up. And this is where it's draining into the other side of the wetland. And, you know, that's an issue. Road erosion uh, affects the ability for trucks to get in here for logging and whatnot. So, uh, yeah, take care of your culverts. Another day, another dollar. Oh, I can probably get through a gallon of paint before... Gotta go to a bid. Throw those in there so I don't lose them. Let's get geared up. Let's see, paint guns already loaded from yesterday. Uh, let's see, we're on about 40, 50 acre woodlot, can't remember right off the top of my head. Doing a mm, bit more aggressive selection, group selection harvest. Really none of the wood here is spectacular. Not that I've seen yet at least. And a little bit about the landowner. Not that I want to completely give away people's personal information, but, you know, forest management is all about landowners' goals and objectives. So, all oh, guys in his mid-80s, um, worked as a machinist, you know, his whole life, but he had, uh, you know, cattle and ran his own little sawmill as, uh, you know, side work, kind of make some money, do what you love type things. So uh, he has a pretty strong connection to his land, really appreciates what he's able to do with it. But also he's in his mid eighties now, he's looking, you know, generate some revenue, make sure everything's squared away. So that's what we're here for. Cut out what can make him some money, leave some good stuff to, you know, regenerate a good, hopefully better forest. So yeah, guess I can talk about some things I did and then I can get back into marking. Um, so it's not so bad right here, but this kind of turns into a big giant ravine. Oh, and that's also the property line, so that doesn't help. But he owns some land that side of the stone wall way down a ways it levels out again but it's a ravine there for a while so we can't harvest down there we also can't drop any trees down there because it's going to be a real pain in the butt for the logger to get them so right here we got three oaks uh yeah that guy halfway decent shape but not not even a great looking tree that one isn't great looking either but at least it's got a little bit bigger of a crown. Yeah, it's losing some branches, but a lot of the trees here are doing that, so it's kind of, uh, you gotta play with what you got. This guy, yeah, sure, it's definitely an UG. We, we probably would want to get rid of it, but uh, yeah, this isn't a wildlife hole yet, but it's definitely gonna develop, develop into that. So it's gonna stay, I don't know. Maybe at least it can produce some seed, but I bet that rot goes pretty far up into that butt log and, you know, 
before you know it, was it really worth cutting that tree? So, we're not liquidating this guy's property. He wants it to be a forest. He wants him, you know, release the good stuff. But also, he wants to make his money. So, it's a balance of that. Balancing act. <sighs> that oak's shot. That one's shot. It's probably one of the nicer ones I've seen here. It can drop you up the road. That we're gonna have to cut that white pine too. Before I start cutting to that guy, I want to make sure this guy doesn't have anything wrong with it. Yeah, a little crack there, not the best. Divot there, not the best, but you know, a couple little off-color spots on this black oak, but yeah, pretty tight bark. So he's gonna stay. All these pin knots, I'd probably call that a scarlet oak. Do you make a log? No, you're firewood. Yeah. Black oak, 20. Actually, yeah, we'll need to cut one of these guys then. We'll get rid of this guy. So we need some room to work. Yeah, black oak 22. Release that other black oak. Right here, again, not the best looking black oak in the world, but for what we got here, not bad. We're gonna have to get rid of that white pine so that guy has somewhere to drop. But you know, yeah, we're not necessarily making room around that red oak right there, but, you know, we're freeing up competition. All right, let's get rid of Mr. White Pine. I hate when people cut something and then they don't take the whole tree. Well, there's an argument to may be made that compartmentalized. Still doing fine. Probably one of the nicer looking trees on this lot, so whatever. If I stay in, these guys are going because we want to leave them too. Because if they get too much sunlight, you get all this epicormic branching, the pin knotting, so it's a balance of opening them up so they can grow bigger and have space to release seed and those seed be viable versus they get too much light. Now they're all up the corner dump. The grade of that log goes down because there's more defect. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this pine's gonna get the smoke. So is this white oak. Yeah.
to those two living next to each other. I was getting to before about that sunlight, you know, that's gonna keep them at least protected on one side and they'll be more open up on three sides. Got a pump. Wildlife tree. We'll leave that wildlife oak if we can. Yeah, this birch we'd like to leave. Because it looks like some critters are pecking at it, but to get that one on the ground, it's gonna have to go. Yeah. Let's see, for those oaks, this might just be a case of we open up everything else around them. Nice seed tree. Actually, beautiful seed tree. Perfect seed tree. Worth way more seed than it is for lumber. Yeah, got some nice fine branching still up there. Now let's go into there. Yeah, he'll fall down that way. Stump spot? Yeah, stump spot. Too small. Too small man. that white pine, maybe that nice big one, that hemlock in the middle, nice little spot for some deer to hide. out if I get rid of this one. No one really. Gonna squeak a 14 out of you. Nope. Mm, this one's in good shape. That one's got Split crown. Go to this guy, be helping out that guy. Really, not a whole lot of saw timber around, so I can justify it. Now I got a pallet log out of there. 